Hello and welcome to Perl Tutorials. This is Inder P. Singh. I will first quickly explain Perl for beginners. Perl is a general purpose, high level and open source programming language. Perl is good for text processing like processing HTML and XML. Perl scripting is also good for regular expression parsing. Perl is efficient, easy to use and has numerous ready-made libraries available. There is use of Perl language in system administration, web development, network programming and other tasks. Perl scripting language can be used to write simple scripts to complex applications. Perl coding language has many features. Perl language runs on a large number of platforms. Perl language has been in development since the 1980s. In this Perl scripting tutorial, I will show you how to write and run Perl scripts with Perl programming examples. Before that, you should know about Perl download of Perl Windows. Strawberry Perl is an open source Perl environment for Windows. Strawberry Perl can be used for running Perl script. Strawberry Perl includes Perl binary files, compiler, libraries and database clients. Now let me show you how to download Perl for Windows. You may use the 32-bit or 64-bit Strawberry Perl download. I've already downloaded the installer. Then I right clicked on it and click the install button. On clicking the install button, this is the first screen when installing Perl on Windows. The setup wizard starts and we have to click on the next button. Then in Perl Windows 10 installation, it shows the end user license agreement for open source licenses. Click I accept and click on the next button. It is possible to change the destination folder where Perl will be installed. Click the next button. Then the Perl setup wizard is ready to install Strawberry Perl. Click the install button. It says it is installing Strawberry Perl. After some time, the setup wizard completes. Click the finish button. Now Perl on Windows should be available. Since this is a Perl tutorial for beginners, let us learn Perl with Perl code examples, starting with Perl basics. I use Notepad++ as Perl editor in which we can save the Perl script with .pl extension. But you can use any text editor, even Notepad. Now this is a Perl script example. A Perl script means that it has at least one Perl statement. Each Perl statement ends with a semicolon. Comments in Perl start with the hash sign. Perl use strict finds an error in the code and stops running the Perl code. There is another use statement, use warnings. Perl use warnings gives a warning if there is any problem. And this is a comment. As you know, comments in Perl start with a hash sign. If I print some string, for example, welcome to software and testing training, Perl print prints a string meaning some text. So let us save this file and run it. In order to run the Perl script, open the command prompt. Now change directory to where this Perl script is located. So I put it in E drive training Perl and the scripts folder. Here the command to run it is Perl followed by the name of the Perl script, which is a.pl. Now here it says, welcome to and that string. Now some Perl script basics. Scalars means they are strings or numbers. I can create a scalar variable in Perl. A Perl variable is declared using the my keyword. My dollar name is the name of the variable and I can put some string. Let me create another variable. My dollar number is equal to 30. Now let us see how to print the variable. Perl print variable is going to print the name 
and this is the new line character which means it will take the cursor to the next line this prints the variable we can print the number variable also the half of number is dollar number by 2 and again take it on the next line so let us save this and run it again the same command because it's the same script and this time it prints the previous string and my name is Inder and the half of number is 15 here we printed the variable as well as the Perl expression next let us use the Perl if statement for Perl compare string I'm going to declare two variables to hold two strings string 1 is a Perl variable that contains ABC the Perl if statement is a condition given within parentheses so if string 1 EQ means equal to if string 1 equals to string 2 then we need to put the if code block within curly braces and we have to use curly braces even if there is a single line in the code block if the two strings are the same then we print the two strings are the same else if we can give another condition within parentheses string 1 less than or equal to string 2 then again we can give another code block print string 1 is smaller than string 2 now note here that the variable can be given inside the string because this entire string is within the double quotes and end the curly braces of the else if block else is going to capture the remaining condition if the two strings are not equal string 1 is not less than or equal to string 2 then that means that string 1 is greater than string 2 so print string 1 is greater than string 2 and end it now let us save this Perl script and run it now so here we can see it says the two strings are the same because we gave both as ABC now let, let me change string 2 to DEF save it and run it once again this time we can see it says ABC is smaller than DEF because in the alphabetical order ABC appears before DEF change it to capital ABC now lowercase ABC appears after capitals so here string 1 is going to be greater than string 2 now let us confirm this by running this Perl script example once again save this Perl script and run it once again clear the screen Now here it says ABC is greater than capital ABC because in the ASCII order capital letters appear before the lowercase letters. Let us see a Perl example of Perl if not statement. Now here I am going to directly compare two strings ABC equal to DEF. Now this whole condition is already within the parentheses. All we need to do is to add the not operator before it and again enclose it in parentheses so this is going to compare the two strings ABC and DEF if not ABC equal to DEF now if this condition ABC equal to DEF is not true that means it should print that the two strings are not the same and it should print different so we end the if block then we can put the else and print the two strings are the same so using the if not we can reverse the condition now let us save this and run this Perl script now here it says the two strings are different let us go back and make the strings 
exactly the same save the Perl script and run it now here it says the two strings are the same that's all in this Perl scripting tutorial please view my other Perl tutorials also thank you